Listen, we got to live this stuff. One of the words the prophets got was it'd be a year of epic spiritual warfare. Epic spiritual warfare. But the Lord spoke to me something so clearly. He said, we are being trained to reign. This isn't all there is. And what you do on the earth today will affect where you are and what your assignment will be someday eternally. And I want to say to you, don't fail in reigning. Amen? Some of you, you're so earthbound. You're so bound in this dispensation. You're so bound in this moment. No, I want to tell you something. When I see Jesus, I want him to say, well done. And then I want him to say, oh, yeah, and there's uh, this big assignment for you to do. Listen, there's going to be a new heaven and a new earth one day. Even beyond heaven, there's going to be magnificent things. Yeah, you are encountering warfare. There's things you're battling. But you be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Listen, you've got to put on your combat boots and you have got to stand. No, no, you, you guys don't get it. Come on, you've got to stand. See or no, yes or no, see or no. And the Lord would say, I'm going to raise up a new class of warriors. And the Lord said, even as David had his mighty men, I am raising up a new class order, whatever you want to call it, of mighty men and women. And the Lord says, they're going to do exploits for me. And the Lord says, I'm going to use some of you in nations in ways you never dreamed. There is an upgrade. There is something I'm going to do. Uh, there is uh, something I'm going to give you, a promotion, says the Lord. But I am looking and my eyes are searching to see who I can put on the forefront. Not only now, but in eternity. Train to reign. How about somebody shout about that? Woo. I heard this quoted too. 2 Timothy 1, 7. God has not given us a what? A spirit of fear. That means it's a demon, y'all. Okay? What's wrong with us? Oh, it's an influence. Or, you know, I mean, I believe in counseling and inner healing. Believe me. But I want to tell you something. Sometimes you just got to cast the devil out of somebody. So the Bible says, giving you power, love, and a sound mind. The word fear here is very unique in the Greek. It literally means dread. This isn't just any fear. It's like you get up in the morning and you dread what might happen today. And if you let that spirit of fear or timidity get a hold of you, all of a sudden, if you don't take authority over that oppression, you're going to start dreading the day. And you're going to get depressed. You need to learn to encourage yourself in the Lord. You need to get up if you're feeling depressed and say, shut up, devil. You're not messing with my mind and emotions today. And I know what I'm talking about because when I was 20, I was on eight Valium a day and I was a very depressed girl. But I learned how to walk out of that with the word of God and you can too. Amen. Shout victory. 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 Now listen. It says God has given us power. Ooh, I love this. Power, you know what the word is. Come on, somebody. Can you guess dunamis, right, Romero? Dunamis. It means like dynamite explosive power. That's the kind of power you've been given. One time in Argentina, Ed was supposed to was telling us, just go dig a hole and, and you know, and, and do some damage uh, in Satan's kingdom. And Ed looked at me and says, now, Cindy Jacobs, so she carries dynamite in her hip pocket. And if I tell her to go dig that hole, she's going to pull that stick of dynamite out of her pocket, light it, and go, boom, there. You know, and just blast that thing open. We have got to learn to be audacious in our faith. When we go into a place, we have power. 
We have authority over the atmosphere. We will reign over the grocery store. We will reign over our family. We will reign. We are called to rule and reign. That's who you are. You don't, you don't, listen, we don't even have a clue who we are. Not a clue. Not a clue. But God in this hour is going to raise up his drag warriors, his sons of thunder. And I can tell you those listening on the stream and those in this building tonight, as the clock turns 2021, watch out, devil, here we come. The word love here, you probably know what it is. It's agape. It's agape. You know, I, I don't know how others feel, but when I'm praying for somebody, I feel a manifestation of the love of God as I'm praying for them. It is like they are my best buddy. It's like, you know, uh, I may not know you, but when I look at you and I'm praying for you, I think I have known you all of my life. It's just, is that how it happens for you, Chuck? It's just supernatural what the Lord does in that manner. And then it's the word sound mind. It means totally and completely balanced in God's word. It's a mind so full of God's word, depression has no place. And God will drive out depression. God will give us a sound mind. I went from someone who was a hot mess. I'm not kidding you. To be able to deal with some of the most stressful international situations that I deal with behind the scenes. And God just gives me that word of knowledge. He just gives me that word of wisdom. Now we're going to see with the dread warriors, the thun sons of thunder in this hour, such a sharp word of knowledge. Listen, with the word of the Lord comes the fear of the Lord. And God is going to give us such precise words of the Lord. Reminds me, I prophesied that a children's revival was going to come among the indigenous people in the north of Thailand. And they went, you know, and what happened was this little boy, just I think he was about six, kept begging his parents to take him to church at four in the morning. He begged and begged and begged. And Eleanor Roberts, you know how it is in the villages. This was just a village, you know, a small village. But finally, the parents broke down and took him to church. But the whole village knew, so the whole village showed up. And when they went at four o'clock in the morning, the glory of God fell in that building. And with it came the fear of the Lord. And those children would know when you were in sin. If someone would walk into that building in pornography or addictions, they would go up, these little kids, and they'd point at them, and they'd start prophesying. And they would tell them their sin. If they didn't listen, and they tried to go to their home in the village, they would follow them home. And they would stand beating on their door, telling them they must repent. And that went worldwide. I tell you, in the coming revival, there's going to be a children's revival, and it's going to come with the fear of the Lord. It's going to come with my little children are going to dream, supernatural dreams. And I tell you, it's going to be like what happened there. There's going to be sudden visitations where everything is going to change. That's how revival comes. You can pray and pray and pray. You can decree and decree. But all of a sudden, out of nowhere, sometimes when you least expect it, boom, the glory of God just falls on you. And you are changed. Amen.